Hello, engineers, designers, BIM professionals, and also students from different fields. In this course, I want to teach you on how you can model, you know, detail, and also produce construction documents in Revit. In this course, I'll take you step by step from modeling to detailing, and we are going to start with the CAD drawings. We have a completed, you know, structural drawings in AutoCAD. Of course, we share the files, and that is what you are going to follow and prove to you. And also, you are going to learn that you can do it in Revit from start to finish. The reason why this course was done is that people doubt that you can't do detailing and modeling in Revit. So, with this course, and once you finish it, you should be able to produce any kind of details that is rebar detailing or within Revit. Now, I can't overemphasize, you know, the importance of using Revit in your workflows because Revit is a leading building information modeling software in the industry. Therefore, it's important that, you know, you learn Revit and use it in the correct way. And this course will just do that for you. Let me just give you some highlights of what we are going to learn, to learn in this course. We'll start with the preparation of the CAD files in AutoCAD, then export the AutoCAD files to Revit and now start creating the datum elements, model all our beams, our columns, you know, our foundations, the floors, the walls, and everything as you are going to see in this lesson. We are going to explain everything step by step without skipping anything so that even if you're a beginner or someone who is already using Revit, you are going to benefit in this course and at the end of the course, you'll be at a whole different level in terms of modeling and detailing in Revit. This course will address a lot of questions that ask to say that, can you produce, can you really produce, you know, quality drawings in Revit? We are going to handle that by ensuring that we produce customized templates for different regions like the American, BS, South African, Pakistan, India, and other different parts of the world. There's a section for that, and we are going to see on how you can customize the template so that whatever you produce, whatever drawings that you produce from that template will be similar and will look professional. We are going to break all the barriers that makes it difficult for anyone to start using Revit. In as much as Revit is highly sought for softwares in the industry, people still have a challenge and those barriers, we are going to break them. Some of the barriers includes now customizing the tags. There's a section dedicated to customization of the tags. And once you complete that chapter, you should be able to customize the tags and, you know, detail, you know, the rebar on all the structural elements according to your design office and also according to your region. Once we finish the modeling and also the placement of the 3D rebar on our structural elements, we proceed now to the most, most important part, you know, in this course, that is the detailing. We are going to produce all the details on a complete building from the beams, you know, the columns, the foundations. I'll show you step by step on what you need to watch out for, you know, the, 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 the correct ways of, you know, detailing and tagging in Revit and all that will be done step by step until you finish the course. Another important aspect that we are going to look at in this course, what we are going to learn is the production of the schedules and quantities. Schedules are very, very important. And as you are aware, if you are using Revit, which is a BIM software, the schedules are 100% correct, as you cannot miss anything. We'll teach you on how to produce or to create a constructible model, which is accurate so that when you produce the schedules and quantities, it will be 100% perfect. Once all the structural elements are detailed in Revit, we proceed now to the placement of those on our sheets and we also look at how you can customize your sheet, you know, place all the details, your logos, if at all you need to do that, and now be able to print out in PDF and also in DWG format. So if you want to master Revit so that you increase your pro prospects in terms of job hunting, in terms of pay, and also in terms of businesses, please make sure that you join me in this course. See you there.